Hello and welcome to the GBHL YouTube channel. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie and Gilball Informer Jay Finnegan. Yeah. And today we will be unboxing the Engineers Start Set, which has been washed out by the light behind us, oh. in front of us. Engineers Start Set. So this is from Steamforge Games. This yeah. is how they arrive. Uh, I didn't get mine like this. I got mine. Well, I just picked mine up when we arrived. Oh, of course, yeah. Um. So. I should get into them. Dive straight in. Dive my favourite team. These are my team. Yeah. I love so, the engineers. Engineers, I'll tell you what, do you want to do the... Oh, ah, it's on your channel, you can do it on mine. <laughs> okay. So, Engineers Guild. You can already see this to look at their guild ball team if you look closely. The tired old science sitting uncomfortably alongside the new discoveries. Those developments are at a very limit of what we know. They have the most devastating potential of all the teams at their fingertips. But yet, their own innate animosity and stubborn pride stops them from achieving greatness. Oh. Oh. Very good team. Yeah. Uh, box contains Ballista, Lord Artificer, team captain, Salvo, the marksman, and Velocity, Quistis Reborn. Quistis? Quistis. That's a Final Fantasy name. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. And a ball token. Cool. Um, yeah, they're a very cool team. They're quite steampunk, aren't they, the models? Very steampunk. It's um, just a... Designed by a Kickstarter who pledged five thousand pounds. They were, so yeah. So they got to design their own team, and apparently, I was speaking to the Steamforce guys the other day. Their designs are based off. Uh, it, it was a, sh a store down south. It was somewhere. a gaming store, wasn't it? And yeah. it's all the um, the team members. He has robots working for him. Well, no, but <laughs> that, that was the idea they went for. Yeah, it was based on him and his staff. Him and his um, staff, yeah. The very much one thing I found about these, and you might see when you look look at the models, the very much love or hate people either love the engineers models yeah. or hate the engineers models. Now, when it's I it's seen the concept art, um, it's, it's the steampunk aesthetic. Though, yeah, isn't it? I wasn't a fan of that, but I am a fan of the models, and they are yeah. now my favourite team. Steam, steampunk it is more my you love or you hate steampunk. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I I really like the steampunk aesthetic, but I know some people just don't get it yeah. at all. So we shall dive into the box. Yeah, I'll let Jamie open, open it and. Just spin this around. Just open it. Yeah. Get the camera. Cool. Whoa. Bring it over this way. We open the box, and then what have we got inside? Got a bit of an air. Uh, uh, oh, an air one. It's a luxury. It's for the best team. Yeah. Oh yeah. So <laughs> we've got. Is this velocity? Uh, yeah, that's velocity. Yeah, velocity. Yeah. We have got Ballista, or Ballista, sorry. Yep. Uh, and Salvo there. Is it in many pieces? Yeah. And their cards as well. Uh, if you give us a sec, I shall cut here and get myself prepared. <laughs> so here we've got Ballista. Oh, sorry, Ballista. Ballista. Oh, I've been playing Civilization V with my Romans, <laughs> and I've been like, Ballista, 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 Ballista. Uh, so he's the team captain. Do you want yep. to. Have a look through his card, explain yep. it to us as you are an engineer player. I am an engineer. So he's a movement 5-7, so they are um, they are quite quick on the whole, the um, engineers. Maybe not so much ballista. He's tack 6, which is your standard captain stuff. He's a kick of 4-6 inches, which is something that works right through the engineers. They're, they are arguably as good at kicking the ball as the fisherman. Um, he has a defence of 3 plus and 1 armour, and like most captains, he generates 4 influence, and he can have a maximum of 6. And then character traits, he's got tough hide, so enemy players that cause damage or playbook damage targeting this model are reduced by one. Um, I always find tough hide on a model that isn't a big guy is really good. Yeah, it keeps, really it keeps them around yeah. much longer than they feel like they should be around. And then he's got um, momentous inspiration. While within this aura, which is a four inch aura, friendly models that generate one or more successful hits when using a character play that causes damage additionally generate one momentum. So that's good. So character players don't normally generate momentum, no, but when within four inches of him, if they cause damage, they do. So that means you can use your ranged attacks, which this team excel at, yeah, absolutely, yeah. to cause, well, to generate momentum. Yeah, because one thing I've found, um, that's one of the things that engineers struggle with a bit. None of their damage in combat, even though they can switch to putting out serious amounts of damage, none of it's momentous. Yeah. It just helps them to generate a bit. And then he has his legendary play, yeah. Which is uh, this is my anti fisherman legendary play, I think. Yeah, it is pretty yeah. good. Minefield, which is an eight inch aura. It's an um, anti anyone, this. Yeah. While within the aura, enemy models suffer one damage if they make a reposition, which is a push or a dodge. And then enemy models entering or starting an advance within this aura suffer four damage. Ugh. Yeah, it's grim. Grim, grim times. Very grim. And then the back of his card. Yep. Um, do you want me to go through his full playbook? or Just to just so I run down, yep. I'll have it up on the screen. Yeah, so as you can see, he does a momentous tackle on one, which is very handy. Um, he's got a one-inch push on two, a two-inch push on three, both momentous. 
on four hits, he does a one damage with a two inch push. I think all the push is symbolizing using his crossbow and it knocking yeah. you back and stuff. And he does two damage. And then he knocks down on five, which could uh, momentously on five, non momentously yeah. on three. Ah, uh, okay. And he can do three damage for six successful hits. Yeah. And then he's got a couple of very good character plays. The first one, second wind, cost yeah. two. Uh, target friendly model can make a jog at the end of its activation. That is good. So it's really good of a model gets spent and then it just wants to get out. Say if it's got the ball, yeah, you, you want to get him out of the way or up into position for next turn. Jog somewhere else. Yeah, that's brilliant. And then he's got Deadbolt. Uh, I love this. Yeah, this these, these are so very powerful, these two plays. Yeah, Deadbolt. Cost two with an eight inch range. So he's, if you bear in mind he's got a seven inch move, he can. he's basically got 15 inches where he a can threat, get this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like to sit him in the middle of the pitch and really just control yeah. what's going on. He's a defensive midfielder, isn't he? So that's sort of where he should be. Yeah. Just, just behind the halfway line in his own half. Yeah. So, target enemy model suffers a two inch push directly away, the knockdown condition, and three damage. Ugh. And generates some momentum. And generates some momentum because of his oh. uh, character trait, Momentous Inspiration. Mm -hmm. It's grim. That's, so, that's horrible. And it basically, High damage, push, and knockdown. Yeah, you've got the ball, bang. I'll, I'll hope it bounces in a more favourable position. Yeah. Uh, and then he's got Flurry, which is uh, also cost two influence. It's got an eight inch range and a two inch pulse on it. Yep. Uh, target enemy model takes two damage. Two damage. All of the models within the pulse suffer two damage. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, I'd imagine that'd be very good against butchers because they tend to, to group up. And butchers, gang up. probably morticians as well. Yeah. They they, yeah, they, yeah. they, they, they group up. Yeah. And things it's uh, and things like hemlock. Do you, know, do you know someone who's sixes to hit? Yeah. And it's really tough to put the hurt you, you on. You get hit by something else. Yeah, yeah. you hit someone near and, and spill the damage over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Ballista's wicked. I love him as a captain. He's um, very good. He's solid. He does what he needs to. He controls. Um, when you don't have the ball, he really controls that well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's Ballista done. Ballista done. We shall next move on to Salvo. Yep. The marksman. So, I, I love it when face recognition picks up models' faces. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. Um, it doesn't doesn't mean anything for you guys at home because you you can't see the face recognition. But <laughs> I, I I enjoy it. We're so, just geeking out right yeah, now. Especially aren't when they? I paint. I love it when I paint. Like my clansmen when I painted them, it picked them up as faces. I was like, oh, I painted Thank a you. face. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, do you want to discuss Salvo and I shall show off the model? Yep. So Salvo, he's a move of six eight, so he can really get around the pitch. He's tack four, which is average. He's got a kick of three six inches. Um, I think all the engineers are either three or four for kick, which is good. Defense four plus one armor, and he generates two influence and can have a maximum of three. And then he's got a very, I think he's the only model with this character trait, and I love it. Once per turn, this model may use bonus time without spending MP. Pumped, yeah, he's the only one with that. Yeah, and bonus time, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, basically means you can add a dice to a dice roll. Yeah. It's one of the things you can spend momentum on. And he also has swish strikes. This model may make a one inch dodge after causing damage to an enemy model, so it really keeps him nimble. And uh, helps him get back out of melee range and stuff. Dual wielding crossbows. Yeah, hand crossbows, man. How, 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 how do you reload them? Dude, we're playing a game of like, <laughs> toys and stuff. <laughs> Shall well, we even get on the subject of Smaug? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, it's just wrong. wrong. Yeah, no, they are cool. Um, I do like Salvo, I really do. So the back of his card, yeah. his playbook, he's got one damage and a dodge on one. Um, a two inch dodge and a tackle momentously on two. Yep. He's got a momentous push dodge on three. That's very handy, the push on the dodge. Push dodge is very good. Yeah, yeah, very good. And he's got a momentous tackle with a two-inch dodge on four. So that means he's getting the ball and it's saving him having to do the second attack to get out of there Yeah, as it's well. all wrapped up into one. Yeah. It's good. And then his character plays, which are baby versions of ballistas, in effect. Essentially, yeah. He is the other character with ranged attacks. Mm -hmm. So he's got kick bolt for one with a six-inch range. Target enemy model suffers a three-inch push directly away and two damage. Yep. Very handy. And then floored bolt for one six inches. Target enemy model suffers one damage on the knockdown. Yeah. So you've got another player there who can do a knockdown at range. How much influence can he take? Is it three? Three. Yes. Three. So, so something we're discussing in the game is because they're one, not one use only. Mm. Those pl character plays. If you just put one one on him and within four inches, he can like bonus time and do what six damage from shooting and generate momentum. And if the minefield is active. That yeah. goes up to nine in one turn. That's very good. I've never used him like that. Yeah. Interesting. An idea for Thank you, you James Bond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm going to yeah. try that today. <laughs> cool. Uh, and then, should we go on to Velocity? And Velocity, finally, yeah. yeah. So, the. What was it called? I've forgotten. Uh, Someone Christus Reborn. Is Christus, Christus Reborn. Reborn. Uh, velocity is actually. I know the fluff on this. Velocity oh, yeah. is actually 
Salvo and Ballista built her because Salvo's sister used to play it for the Engineers Guild, and she, right. I think she died in a game. It was an Inquisitor. So, yes, I'm oh. guessing so. Clues in the name. Um, and so they built effectively a robot to to honour her. Okay. And that's what Velocity is. Um, so Velocity is a movement of six eight, so very fast. Attack four. She has a kick of four eight inches, so she's got the, the kick value that all your big strikers have. Big striker. Yeah. Yep. She's defence five plus base. That's which very is solid. Very good. Yeah. Uh, no armor, and she she generates two influence, and she can have four. Yep. Um, character traits where she gets even better. Close control. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, she ignores the first tackle play, but result against her, which yep. is brilliant. Really helps her hold on to the ball. Uh, Colossus also has this for the engineers, and then reanimate. Once per turn, when the enemy model is reduced to zero HP, before suffering the taken out condition, recover three HP and remove all conditions. Yeah, Casket's got that as well. Yeah, Casket has it. Uh, it's basically you ain't you're gonna have to kill her twice in a yeah, turn yeah. to take her down. Just like with tackling, yeah, she's very durable. She's only got uh, eleven health, but she's so durable. Yeah, with fives to hit, potentially go up to sixes with nimble. Yeah, uh, as Jamie mentioned, as we get onto the back, we'll start with the playbook. So she's got a momentous tackle on one, which yep. is what you want from your goal scorer, and one damage for two. She can do a momentous push dodge or just a two-inch dodge, and then for three. She can do the two-inch dodge momentously, or a momentous tackle with a two-inch dodge, which yeah. is nasty. And she's tack four. If she charges, she's going to get eight dice. She's, yeah, she's, she's probably going to pull that off. She might get the three. Yeah. And then she, for four, this is very this interesting. Is, this is a big one. Yeah. This is counting it here, yeah. It's a two, momentous two-inch dodge and two-inch push. Yeah. So that's really moving a couple of players yeah. around. And then she has one character play, which is nimble. This model gains plus one defense. So for an influence, she goes to sixes. Yeah. If she gets the ball, she's really good at holding on to it. Yeah, if you go up to sixes, you, you've got to tackle her twice. She's tough to take down. Yeah, if you take her down, she comes back with three HP. Yeah. She's, uh, she's, I'd say she's not the best striker in the game, but she's the most durable. Yeah, one of, yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. And that, cool. guys, is the, uh, the engineers. That's the engineers, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As ever, guys, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Support me on Patreon. And happy guild balling. Yeah.